This is why South African miners were given laxatives or x-ray before they exit the mine. Um, basically, it is to prevent workers from stealing diamonds, and that is as basic as it is. But it is a controversial move, but we're talking about the late 1800s and the early 1900s, where, well, regards for personal safety, private uh, uh, space is not a priority. It is all about the profit. And uh, according to the rare historical photos, according to the Botswana-based mine, it says 36% of workers smuggle diamonds out of its mines by hiding them in the anus. 30% hide them between their buttocks. 14% use their socks and hair and 5% conceal the germs in their mouths. It has even been suggested that some will actually cut themselves, create wounds in the flesh, put the diamonds there, and then seal it back just to be able to steal some of the diamonds out of the mines. But you need to understand this, that the conditions in the mines were terrible. And uh, with terrible conditions, a lot of people actually did die. And because of that, you're risking your life. So trying to smuggle a few diamonds out so that you could actually make a better living is not something extraordinary or crazy at all. And another thing they did, apart from searching them, is they'll give them laxatives. So before you leave, you need to take the laxative, go and take a dump because people have swallowed the diamonds, and then they'll search. It is a pretty disgusting thing. They'll search through the uh, excrement and then try to find the diamonds if you swallowed any. Another thing they did was you get x-rayed every day when you leave the mines. It is terrible because of the radioactive content of being x-rayed on such a high frequency. And at the time, safety wasn't such a priority at the time. So it wasn't a big deal. So there are multiple mines at the time. First of all, you have the big hole. The big hole, I think, is quite an impressive piece of uh, mining, an open pit mine that they started and started to go deeper and deeper and deeper. It is claimed that this mine is probably one of the deepest hand excavated mine in the world, but others dispute that claim, but that's not the point. And in 1914, it had about 50,000 uh, miners. It was just crazy people digging with shovels and picks, and that was all they had. And because they had such a heavy manpower, they could do whatever they want, basically. Until, of course, the mine became uh, too dangerous and uh, it wasn't producing as much diamonds as it used to. So they decided instead of using an open pit, they started to dig even further tunnels, basically holes to continue mining. And of course, the mine now is just a big hole as part of something called the World Heritage Site because it is quite an impressive hole that was built for diamond mining. Now, there are cases, apparently, between 1897 and 1899, a total of 7,853 people were admitted to the hospital working in the mines. And out of those people, uh, about 1,144 uh, black people died, and then a lot of white people died. But one of the reasons that most people died, apart from probably uh, rocks falling in you and killing you or being buried alive, you also have diseases that are due to the living conditions like tuberculosis, pneumonia, uh, diarrhea, syphilis, well, you know, packed crowds. Uh, and then if you actually take a look at what this uh, map shows you, you see the hole, and of course, because of the mining in the area, a lot more people came, and you have thousands of people living in the area. But at the time, there weren't that many uh, constructions there. The living conditions were really terrible, were really bad for people. But it, it is either that or you starve to death, and a lot of people still rushed to the mines so that they could get jobs. So all in all, you have the uh, big hole mine, and also you have the mine that's called the Coal Man's Cup Mine, which has it. This one is in Namibia, and they all use the same technique, basically managed by the same De Beers family. They use the same technique and uh, to be able to uh, control uh, 
people stealing the uh, diamonds out of the mine. So if it's not x-ray, you're not allowed to leave w without taking laxatives so that they can see if you swallowed anything and you get really cavity uh, body search to get out of the mine. Of course, the Coleman's Cup mine in Namibia now is also a museum, just like the big hole one. And uh, it is now being eaten up by uh, the desert as you can see from the uh, picture here this is an aerial view of the uh, Coles Men's Cup uh, mine and as you can see here the desert the sand dunes are taking over but it is still an interesting location to visit it is quite airy because you get there and you get this feeling of <laughs> imminent danger that someone is watching you but uh, it is part of the history of mining as a, as a whole, how mining after they've taken anything valuable out of the area becomes often a ghost town. So there you have it, reasons why mine workers are being x-rayed, were being x-rayed and given laxative to prevent stealing.